Assalamu alaikum today we are going to study about the ugly duckling stage which is also known as the broad bent phenomena so this is basically dealing with the diastema we see in the age of 8 years in children so parents usually come to the orthodontist or the general dentist saying that their child have midline diastema that is spacing in between their teeth and that kind of looks very ugly so that is why it is called as ugly duckling stage duckling is the kid of a duck and this phenomena occurs in children that is why it is called as ugly duckling stage so this ugly duckling stage it occurs around the age of 8 years because that is the time when our canines will erupt so the canine is the culprit here this is the main reason this canine is the main reason why the midline diastema will occur and we'll see how and why does it occur so let's see what happens so this canine this will erupt around the age of 8 years so let's say it is erupting so when it starts erupting this canine will apply pressure on the roots of the lateral incisor here we can see that it is applying pressure on the roots of the lateral incisor because of which the roots of lateral incisor will tilt mesially what is mesially this is the midline so it is turning towards the midline that is why we say that the roots are turning mesially like this so when the roots turn mesially this crown portion it is going distally all right Now the second thing what happens is this shifted root of the lateral incisor it will again press upon the roots of the central incisor so it will apply pressure on the roots of the central incisor now the same thing will happen with the root of central incisor as well see the roots have shifted mesially Now since the root of the central incisor shifted mesially the crown will also shift distally this will thus create a midline diastema so we have this amount of spacing in between the central incisor and this looks very ugly that is why it is called as the ugly duckling stage and broad bent defined this phenomena that is why it is also called as broad bent phenomena this is also called as self correcting malocclusion because what will eventually happen this canine will erupt from this position to this position i am showing on just one canine so now what it is doing it is applying pressure on the crowns so the action is reversed so the crown will now go mesially and the root will again go distally this in turn will again apply pressure on the crown of the central incisor so the central incisor crown will go mesially and the root will go distally and the same thing will happen on this side also so when this canine fully erupts this diastema will automatically be corrected that is why it is also called as self correcting malocclusion so i hope you found this video helpful if you like the video don't forget to subscribe comment and share the video your comments matter a lot and it would be very helpful if you spread the word by sharing our video and telling others about dr teeth academy thanks for watching bye bye allah hafiz